Hello, what's up? Ali here. And on this video, we are going to jailbreak a PS4 on the firmware 10.0. So if you are on a firmware between 9.03 to 10.0, you actually don't have to update straight to 11.0 to jailbreak your PS4. Since the latest called Hen has added support for the firmware's 10.0 and 10.01. And on this video, we are going to jailbreak a PS4 Slim on 10.0. First, let us go ahead and show you how to update to 10.0. You will have to do this if you are somewhere between 9.03 to 9.60. But if you are on 9.0 and below, I would still recommend using the jailbreak on 9.0 because it is still so much more stable. And on this video, we are going to need our PS4 to be connected directly to our PC. You can either use a laptop or a PC, but it has to be directly connected to your PS4. Though there are some methods of activating the jailbreak with PPPWN, but on this video, we will stick with using a PC or a laptop. Now let us go ahead and download the requirements. First, we will need the update file for the 10.0. If you are on 10.01, you can still go ahead and jailbreak your PS4 without updating to 11.0. But if you are on 9.03 to 9.60, you will have to update first for now to 10.0 to be able to load Gold Hanna. Now you will find the link on our description. Just open the link and scroll down to this part. For the normal update file, this is what we are going to download. Now, if you need a reinstallation file, say for example, you have to change your hard drive, or your PS4 has encountered some critical errors with its firmware and it's asking for a reinstallation firmware, you will have to download the reinstallation file. And this is the reinstallation file. 10.0 with the size of 1000 MB. But for the regular update file, this is what you are going to need. The one with 472 MB size. And to download, just click on download. Now we will need the latest version of the PPPWN Lite. So far, of all the applications and tools that you need to activate the jailbreak, this is what I find to be the most stable. Now you will find the link on our description. Just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Now after downloading, extract the file and you will get this. Open this folder. Now run this application and click on this part. In our case, it is 10.0. And since the PPPWN exploit also supports firmware down to 7.0, you can use this to jailbreak PS4 as low as 7.0. For now, let us go ahead and choose 10.0. Next is we are going to prepare our gold hen and the update file. For the latest gold hen, it is already included inside the folder of the latest version of the PPPWN Lite. So open the folder and inside this PS4 gold hen all, choose your firmware, Open this and just drag and drop this on the root of your hard drive. Just make sure that it is formatted to XFAT or FAT32. In our case, we are going to use our external hard drive formatted with XFAT. If you have any issues formatting your hard drive, you can find the link on our description for a video on how to properly format a hard drive to XFAT or FAT32. Now let us go ahead and drag and drop this on the root of our hard drive. Then let us just go ahead and overwrite. Next, we need to prepare our update file. Again, on the root of our hard drive, create a new folder and name it PS4. Inside this folder, create another folder and name it update. And inside this folder update, we are going to place the update file that we have just downloaded. And to make sure that we have the right update file, Go to this link. You will find the link on our description. Drag and drop your update file here. Now you can go ahead and check the official MD5 ID of this firmware. Compare it here and make sure that they are completely the same. Now if this is the case, then we can make sure that this is the right file that we need. Now we can go ahead and insert this to our PS4 and prepare it for the jailbreak. And also we have to make sure that our PS4 is directly connected to our PC using an ethernet cable next is we have to update our ps4 from here go to the settings system software update now from here regardless of your network connection your ps4 should detect the update file saved in your external hard drive or usb if you are getting some issues here or the ps4 could not detect the update file even though you have checked everything is correct then it is highly advisable to update your ps4 
using rest mode. To get to the rest mode, first turn off your PS4. Now once it's off, press and hold the power button until you hear the second beep. From here, you should prepare a USB data cable and connect your DS4 to your PS4. Then press the PS button. Then you can update your PS4 here using the update system software. Press enter. Then update from USB storage device. Make sure that your USB that has your update file is properly connected. Then hit OK. You should see the update in the USB or external hard drive. Then hit on next. Then simply complete the update. Next is we have to set up the network connection. Go to network. Set up internet connection. Use LAN cable. And make sure that your PS4 is directly connected to your PC using Ethernet cable. Press enter. Custom. Use PPPoE, use random user ID, and the password. Automatic, automatic, do not use, and hit back. From here, we have to open the application. So go back to the PC, open the PPPWNLAT folder, and run this application. Click here first, and make sure that you have your current firmware here. Then hit OK. Then press start on the application. If you see wait on the application, then simply close and restart until you get to the stage zero. Sometimes we'll have to test the internet connection back and forth if you're not getting any response. Now, once you get to the stage zero and you get some fails, all you have to do is simply try again. We finally got a success here, but prior to this, we had around 6 to 8 fails. Though this jailbreak has gone a long way since its launch, it is still very unstable. So if you don't want to go through all the trouble again every time you use your PS4, then just leave your PS4 to rest mode after you use it. Now after you activate the gold hand, you don't need the USB the next time you activate the jailbreak. The gold hand will be saved on your PS4. So the next time you activate the jailbreak, it will load the gold hen from the PS4 itself. Now with gold hen activated, you can go ahead and install applications and games on your jailbroken PS4. If you need a guide on how to install, fix, and update games on a jailbroken PS4, please go ahead and check the links in our description. You can also find other helpful videos to help you optimize your jailbroken PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, Please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.